Today, Steinhuizen has broken his silence in a pivotal address to the nation. As the dust of the recent election begins to settle, the Democratic Alliance party leader reflected on the results and outlined the party's next steps in a detailed and impassioned speech. In his speech, Steinhuizen began by expressing gratitude to the millions of South Africans who participated in the election. He specifically thanked the over 3, 4 million voters who supported the Democratic Alliance. Steinhuizen stated, the people have now spoken, and they have not given an outright majority to any party, thereby demanding cooperation from their political leaders. He emphasized that the country has arrived at a significant juncture in its history. As we digest the results of the 2024 election and their implications, I know that many of you are feeling uncertain and anxious about the future. He said, urging the public to remember that South Africans have overcome greater challenges in the past. Steinhuizen recalled his commitment to forming a unified opposition bloc, the multi-party charter, following his re-election as the federal leader of the Democratic Alliance. He explained that the DA had urged voters to support this charter to reduce the ANC's majority below 50% and form a new government. While the DA saw growth nationally and in six provinces, the charter did not achieve majorities at national or provincial levels. Despite this, Steinhuizen expressed gratitude to the DS Charter partners and reiterated their commitment to working together for the country's sake. Please remember to like the video and comment your views on the comment section below. Let's continue with the speech. Referring to a previous speech at the DA Congress, Steinhuizen reminded the public of his commitment to preventing an ANC Doomsday Coalition from taking power. He stated, In the 14 months since I spoke those words, the rise of the MK party has only added urgency now to that commitment. Steinhuizen highlighted the projected coalition of the ANC, EFF, and MK, which has the numbers to take power both nationally and in KwaZulu-Neto. The bottom line is that collectively, they have the numbers to take power, whilst the multi-party charter does not. He noted, he assured that the DA will not ignore this challenge but will face it head-on. He announced that the D's federal executive has adopted a resolution to initiate talks with other parties committed to the South African constitution to explore options for forming governments where no party has an outright majority. He introduced the appointed negotiating team, which includes John Steinhuizen, Mfo Fallets, Alan Wind, Tony Leon, and Helen Zill. This team will engage with other political parties and report back to the federal executive. Steinhuizen reassured South Africans that the DA will always act in the people's best interest during this unprecedented moment in history. He reaffirmed the DA's commitment to upholding the constitution, promoting non-racialism, ensuring clean governance, and building a social market economy. He listed the DA's seven apex priorities of creating two million new jobs, ending load shedding and water shedding, having the rate of violent crime, abolishing code redeployment, lifting six million people out of poverty, tripling the number of grade 4 learners who can read for many, and ensuring quality health care for all. Steinhuizen concluded with a personal note, sharing his concerns as a father and expressing his determination to prevent a coalition that could abolish the constitution, subvert the judiciary, and expropriate private property. He warned of the potential consequences, including unemployment, misery, hardship, and hunger. He called on all patriotic South Africans to defend the constitution and act in the national interest. Our country needs us now, and we cannot let her down, he declared. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to Africa First for more African news. Bye bye and see you in the next video.